with a capital C. Gracie, Michaela and Larson have got a good start and left the rest of them for dead. Eric Wallace, very quick car, one heat in his second heat to after getting a flat heat one. Flies up around the outside, you see. Going to uh, have to get his skates on. Caleb has a handy lead over Larson. Gorski third, Wallace fourth. So this will be a good battle to see if Wallace can mow them down. Gets underneath the Gorski, moves into third place. And then the break is scoring for him, Victor Max Richter and Shay Farron. This was the race for all three Richters were going to be involved. It's not going to be Ben McCaleb, Larson. Eric Wallace just has a 19, uh, sorry, 16989. Starting to close in on Bree Larson in second place. Back then to Jeremy Gorski, then Braden Scorer. Corey Richter is next. Back then to uh, Max Richter and Shay Barron. Another lap put together as they come up on the uh, slower cars in the back straight. The race leader still going well as Victoria Five of Ben McCaleb comes up around the outside of Shay Barron. Second place still Bree Larson. Which way will they zig and zag around Barron? They've both got the outside. Bree Larson in second place. Eric Wallace right there with three as they move out of turn number two. Past the scene of so many crimes tonight. He now levels up with Bree Larson at the end of turn number three. Will the back straight into three. They run side by side out of four. Bree Larson not to give up. Comes still on the outside as they head up into turn number one. The Caleb in front. They're slightly but surely catching the race leader. The margin was 2.2. Still a bit of work to do. Wallace has decided to go the inside of these lap cars, or the inside of one, the outside of another. That's Corey Richter and Max Richter who's just gone through. So two, three, Larson. So he's got a couple of laps left to go. The margin is down to 1.5. He's taken 0.7 of a second off that the last time around. They've got a lap to go. Michaela in front. Wallace is storming home, but I think he's going to run out of laps. Back into Bree Larson. Fourth place is Jeremy Gorski. The rest of them are left down, headed up by Braden Scorer. Down the back straight, the final time is really, really close. The gap is Eric Wallace, but it's going to be all too late. And McCaleb did nothing wrong. Ben McCaleb, a good drive out in front, takes the win. Second is Eric Wallace. Bree Larson third. Jeremy Gorski has run out of noise by the looks of it. He's going to crawl across the line in fourth place. So Gorski is fourth. Back then to Braden Storer. My Minister of Racing here. Braden Storer is going to be next. Corey Richter, Max Richter, and Shay Barron. 219.262 for the eight laps. The winning margin 0.994. The quick lap at a 16.924. It's Ben McCaleb, Eric Wallace, and Bree Larson, your top three. Ben McCaleb, they are. Uh some much needed points, well done. Yeah, cheers, uh, big thanks to all the boys and dad, uh, Bo, yeah, everyone, just, you know, we had that bit of a mix up in uh, the last heat and destroyed the right rear quarter, so glad we got it back together and got back out there and um, yeah, just happy we could bank some points, probably a bit behind now because we DNF, but you know, we all go somewhere and um, yeah, just glad we could get the win. Right, well done, another round of applause. Ben McKayla from Victoria takes out heat race number 15. That's heat race number 16. There's out there Josh Zazolka and Chelsea Gwynn. There's lights out. As we get underway, heat 16. And then three wide down in turn number one, make that four wide at the back of the field. So head down the back straight for the first time. And it's on for the goal. Michael Larson leads him through. Lap number one. Here comes the challenger. Grims in second place. Jones in for the Northern Territory. He's in third. Back to the pack. Swindells. JJ Hudson for the blue number 19. is in fifth place. As they move out to turn number two. Back to the Brandon Johnson. Tia Daly is next. As they storm down the back straight. Now, race leader has a small gap on the, the entire field as they come into the main straight. Larson Grims. All front car. Bunny Hop. Took out a witch's hand on the field. 75 of Tia Daly, just ahead of her is uh, Olivia Mustard. Uh, Olivia Mustard is ahead down the back straight once again. Our race leader is Michael Larson, 17.6 the last time around. Rims in second place, Kate Swindell's is her way through. JJ Hamilton's there along with Michael Jones. Now for 114 for Northern Territory. Behind them would be 55, Randall Thomas. Chelsea been up on the outside and down lower on the track. Behind them is Joshua Sazolka. They come into the main straight. Larson still leads. There's the field. 
17427, the quick lap by Michael Larson, who wins heat number 16. All right, Michael, uh, another 36 points, two out of three, and should put you in good step coming into night two. Yeah, we're really, really excited. Um, just the car feels phenomenal, and I'm just so glad we can get the car feeling how it is and how I want it. And um, yeah, I'm just really keen for tomorrow night, and hopefully we'll make the A main. Plenty of people you want to thank, of course. Just really like to thank mum, dad, um, Brooke, because she travels with us most times and she helps out so so well, and Daryl for helping tonight. Um, thank Tash in the Gold Coast. She always comes watch me race when she has time, and just Maribara for putting on a good show. What a well done. Michael Larson takes another heat win. Two out of three isn't bad at all at a national championship. We go lights out again in eight laps, Jase. Thanks, Hayden. Yes, we do. We go lights out. We go green, in fact. The Rewain Racing, Michaela and Bailey Barnacote lead them down the main straight the first time and sneaking down the inside of both of them with Braith Hogan. So head down the back straight the first time. Barnacote back in third place as they head down into turn three and four. Lincoln Booth is next. So make their way out of four. Michaela trying to stay with our race leader, which is, of course, the 72 of Braith Hogan, who's had a pretty good night. Back to Barnacote in third position is Jaden Trippett and Richters. Mitchell Wogans is next. And then uh, Dakota Laverty, Lachlan Harris and Lincoln Hoot. End of the main straight they come. Our race leader is Ray Hogan to 72. The Caleb in second place. Back into Barnacote in third position then Jaden Trippett. Dakota Laverty then Kane Richters. Well, Laverty went very wide on that occasion out of turn number two. Back into Wogans and uh, Harris and Hoot. Three laps now down for our race leader, Bray Hogan. Second place is that of car number 76, Darcy McHaler. Third place is now taken up by uh, Jane Trippett, Bailey Barnacote back for fourth. They're a long way clear of the fifth place car of Dakota Laverty. At the halfway mark, Bray Hogan goes up and around the outside of Lincoln Hoot, down in turn number one. So two down does car 76, Darcy McHaler. Oh, trouble here in the main straight. Oh, look out. Oh, there was uh, Mitch Wagant, uh, Wagant into the back end of 32, Kane Richters, and, sorry, was it? Uh, Wayne Racing down into turn, number one, they go back in second place. It's Carson McHaler, James Trippett in third, Dakota Laverty going by the Cape, which has really got some speed up and comes up on the outside of Bailey Barnico. As they move out of turn number three and four. Into the main straight. Michaela still staying with Hogan. Back in third place. 
This is the 38 car of Jaden Trippett. Barnico back to fourth, Laverty back to fifth. And Michaela is staying with Hogan as they come out of three and four to be two to go this time around. Heat 17 of the national title. Hogan leads by a car leg with margins 0.4 of a second. Back into Jaden Trippett from Tasmania. Bailey Barnico and Dakota Laverty. So head down the back straight, Michaela puts right on the back bumper there of Braith Hogan as they exit in turn number two. They should be getting the white flag, there's one lap to go. Hogan and Michaela, a three-way go here for third place between Trippett, Farnicoat and Dakota Lavity. They go down the back straight, they're going to come up on a slower car, Lincoln Hoops in the last corner. They come out at three and four the final time. McCaleb and Hogan, Hogan McCaleb, Hogan wins McCaleb second, look at this for a finish for third, three across the track, Jaden Trippett, Bailey Barnico and Dakota Lavity separated by absolutely nothing as they cross the line, Lachlan Harris, Mitch Wogan, then back to Kane Richters and Lincoln Hoot. 0.466 the winning margin, 16.937 the quick lap by Freyth Hogan, he defeats Darcy McCaleb and Jaden Trippett. He's gonna, he's gonna take it off this time. In fact, check out the mullet. That's beautiful. That's a beautiful mullet. Thank you. Thank you. Have a look at that, folks. If you have a look at that, look at that. That is a perfect mullet. Braith Hogan, uh, maximum points here tonight on night number one. Well done. Thanks, Hayden. Hopefully, we can replicate something similar to this tomorrow night. Um, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank my dad. I'd like to thank Uncle Steph, also Alana, and my little brother Jet. I'd also like to thank Bummer. My sponsors, uh, Pattern Suspension, Bridge Tree Time Mechanical, and Rockham Chief Hazards Cards. Absolutely. Three out of three and a perfect night for Braith Hogan. Give him another round of applause. Josh Rigby is your top six as we go lights out. And the way they are, not wasting any time this final round of heat's getting them underway. Brims goes on the outside of Ashley Moller as they head out of turn number two. But there's a car that's split the pair of them up. That's Casey Darling from Victoria. Uh, Darling comes underneath the Brims as they move out of turn three and four the first time. Moller back there in third place as they move down the main straight. Back at the Cape of Field in fourth. Then in fifth place, the middle 79 of each Simmons. Josh Rigby is up there in sixth place. They start to sort themselves out. Down the back straight they go. It's Casey Garlic from Victoria out in front. Very wide indeed as they come into the main straight. Back to the Prince in second. Moller third. Back to the Cape Field. And the 79 of Simmons is next. The sixth place car will be that of uh, Josh Rigby. Then Bryce Wakefield. Well, Longwood Spill Street as they're uh, all with the back straight. But uh, now they can go into the main straight. It's our race leader, Casey Garlic from Victoria doing a beautiful out in front. Aiden Brims from New South Wales is second from Queensland. It's Ashley Moller in third. Back to the Caitlin Field. Mitch Simmons in fifth place. And Josh Rigby down low on the track is Bryce Mayfield. Back to the Rockland Spill Street. So they come into the main straight at the halfway bar. Four down and more to go. One car got super sideways on that occasion. In turn four, that was Caitlin Field. She goes back to one, two positions. It's around the outside. Gets a 27 of Josh Rigby. Our race leader is coming out of four. Still being chased by Hayden Brims, but it's Casey Garlic who leads. Three laps to go. Garlic just does the quick lap of the race. The 17261. Moller is third. Back to the Simmons. Rigby. The 73 car is there at Cape Field and Mitch Bayfield. And a good battle for four, fifth, sixth, and seventh place. Look at the main straight two to go as they round up the back. Marcus round Chloe Lebanon. Two laps remaining for our race leader. 62 of Casey Garlic. Second is Grimm's, third place is still Ash Foller, fourth place is Simmons, Rigby, Bayfield and Cameron Field. That's where the battle is for the minor end of the prize. Our race leader comes up against the white flag. One lap to go here at Miramara in number 18 of the national title. It's car 62, Casey Garlic, your race leader. Back in second place is 77 of Hayden Grimm's and Ashley Moller in third. Still this great battle for the minor placing. that Lachlan spills with Tristan Lowther and Chloe Lebedar. Two minutes, 20.134 for the eight laps. The last lap was a 17.172. That was the quick lap. And the winning margin was 2.356. Casey Garlic, Hayden Brims and Ash Molly, your top three.
Casey, some uh, pretty handy points to round out your night. Well done. Yeah, it really helps with points tonight and tomorrow night for finals. Hey, we want to thank. Yeah, Dad, Pa, getting me here last week, this week, everything they've been doing. My sponsors, Mum, Jess, Nathan, coming to watch. Congratulations to all the juniors already, and just thanks to everyone else who has helped out. From Victoria. Casey, a, a great win. Well done. Yeah, thank you. Um, oh, man. I'd like to thank all the crew, everyone that helped get that car back on the track um, for that heat. But, um, yeah, hopefully that didn't wreck our night. So, thank you. Right, a few words out of the Northern Territory champ and give it up. Casey O'Connell takes out heat number 18. That we are, we're away in heat number 20. Down into turn number one of Fulfield. Can you believe it after all the carnage of the last one? Two platinum leads them out of turn one and two. As they head down the back straight. Artie Jonic making great progress around the outside of the field as he comes from the back. Down the main straight, platinum. Irving, back into the 89 car in third place, which is a four shape greeting. Artie Jonic doing the quick laps at the moment, goes into fourth place. Back there to Brady Holliman, Todd Gould, Mason Cameron now starting to make his presence felt as well. They've moved up to fifth and sixth. It's still flattening out in front of Irving. Back then in third place is Hardy Johnny. Greening in fourth place. Johnny goes underneath the Irving, moves into second place. And uh, well, that was pretty, very easy. And um, I've, got, I've got a feeling that Drew Flatman is not going to last much longer either as uh, Johnny now comes up into second place. 
and uh, I think the race leader is in the fence, he did, and that's put uh, Jonic to the lead, so go down the back straight, I think Jonic's starting to get back, I'm pretty sure in this one, he has, he's come out of 11, get off the heat there, two and three wide, into the back straight, Jonic to the leader from Mervy, back in the flat, that's all, Cameron back in fifth place, so come across the back markers now, and then go into the back straight, Start to sort themselves out to go around one of the slow cars. And the lead five cars are going pretty quickly. Johnny leads back to Irving in second. Back in third, Paul and then Cameron. He's got uh, 25 and Lyra Dean, who they uh, all flew past a moment ago. Going to answer with Paul, moves into third place now. So move down the back straight out of three and four. And, uh, two laps to go. And Artie Johnny's out in front. Irving, Paul, Cameron and uh, Sixth place would be Shane Greening, Jasmine Arnold is next to Brody Holliman, Jordan Hardy, Amina Dean, and Sophie Montgomery. One flag is out, one back to go. Our race leader is home and He's going to the back of the field, the national champion. It's uh, really uh, certainly his authority in the concluding stages. Very close to the minor places. But Johnny is going to go through undefeated as well. Come into the main straight, Johnny gets three for three. Moore has got the better of Irving on the last corner and gets second. Back and forth is Mason Cameron. Fifth place will go the way of uh, 22, or sorry, one of my two, Drew Black. Shane Green is next, Jasmine Arnold. Jasmine Arnold got Shane Green on the line. Now Brady Holliday, Jordan Hardy, and they're a dead, so Montgomery. 219.658 the time, winning margin 1.820. The quick lap is 1686. 16864 by Artie Johnny. He defeats Tottenham and Jai Irving, heat 20. Artie, uh, maximum points for the night and a very good way to end your first night defending your national championship. Well done. Yeah, clean sweep for tonight. I'm really happy with that. Um, track's going to be ruddy again, but uh, tomorrow hopefully it'll be a better track. Um, <clears throat> just try, trying to be consistent at the moment, keep the car straight. Um, not trying too hard, just staying calm and uh, getting ready for tomorrow. It should be a good, good night tomorrow. People you uh, want to thank again? Uh, like usual, my granddad, my grandma, uh, the Thilman family for uh, helping us out because uh, you know it wouldn't be as easy without them. They're uh, they're a great help. So thank you very much. Defending his national championship, Artie Johnick takes out his last heat and the third heat. Here we go, the final qualifier. Put third of eleven for away. The best of starts, he must be honest, as they head out of turn one and two, there's a car flying right around the outside, if you don't mind. That's Blake Webb from Western Australia, he's taking them all on. As they head down the back, he started out of eight, he's up to fourth place. He's uh, now caught the front cars, and Blake Webb might find himself in front in a moment. Goes around Kit Barron, Webb into second place. He's gone right around the outside and taken the lead. Kit Barron in second, back into Reese Meekins, Damon Bush, Jake Terizzi. And then Brady Kelly, that's the first six. So they come out of three and four. And Blake Webb is one of the most travel competitors this weekend, all the time actually. Who's improved in Western Australia, but there's a lot of racing in the southwest of WA. He's in Kippy last week, back to Broome, back here. And next week he's going all the way down to Albany in the south of WA for the state title. He's out in front, doing a great job. Back to uh, Barron in second place. Bush in third and Reese Meekins fourth. Having a ding dong battle for second, third, fourth, three across the track, if you don't mind. And that's for second place. Then a great battle. Back in fifth place, it's Harry Doyle, then Jaden Terizzi, Jaden Sanchez, then Brody Kelly, Charlotte Christensen still going okay along with Cooper Reed. Billy McDonald didn't start, but the 108 from Western Australia, Blake Webb has spent it by the way. It's a head down the back straight once again. Blake Webb in front, the battle is for second, third, and fourth. They go around Cooper Reed, and it's Kim Barron in second place. Third place, David Bush, and the 85 car of Reese Meekins from Victoria. They're running second, third, and fourth. You have Todd Tetel over the three of them. They're very close indeed as they come up on the next main car. As they come out of turn number four, this will be Charlotte Christensen. As they come into the main straight, the race leaders through. Three wide down the main straight for second place. Barron, Bush, and right there with them. Fourth place at the moment is Reese Meekins, Charlotte Christensen, here they come. They've all gone on the outside into turn number three. 
Blake Webb, meanwhile, has only got to a lap to go. The white flag is out as Bush goes into second. Barry back to third, Meekins in fourth place. The white flag's been and gone, and Blake Webb is a country mile out in front. And there's going to be a West Australian victory in the final heat. Blake Webb from WA first across the line in car 108. Damon Bush second. Third place will be uh, Reese Meekins. Kip Barron back in fourth place. Back then to Harry Doyle in 51. The next one across the line will be Jaden Terizzi, then Jaden Santon, uh, Brody Kelly, Charlotte Christensen, and Cooper Reed. Two minutes 23.436. The winning margin 4.396. And the quick lap is 17.335 by Blake Webb. Blake Webb first, Damon Bush second, and Reese Meekins third in the final qualifier of the night. Chip, well done. Oh man, I'm stoked the car's on rails. It's yeah, absolute bold to drive. It's pretty cool to watch from the back uh, to the front and then just took off and yeah, you were gone. But people you want to thank? <laughs> yeah, no, I just uh, chucked it on top and just gave it to it the whole way around. Um, obviously a big, big thanks to Dad. He's the uh, madman that drove me, what, four and a half thousand k's from Broome to get me here to have a, yeah, have a go, how, see how we go. And um, all the other people that helped us throughout the season, Dan Marshall, Josh Martinelli, Martinelli family and actually the whole of them. Um, Mum for the support back at home, my sister as well, my girlfriend. Yeah, I know they're all sitting there cheering online, watching me go. Um, and yeah, obviously thanks to all the other competitors. It's been good, good night racing. Cheers for the track, for the track prep as well, which is a bowl. Right, well done. Another round of applause from Western Australia. Blake Webb takes out our final heat tonight.